Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. Welcome to this video where I want to show you a new mode of FSI Panel 2020. This is the custom aircraft import. It will allow you to import your favorite third party aircraft into FSI Panel 2020 to train your approaches. I cannot guarantee that this will be working with all aircraft as some are very complex and some are very basic and it depends as well if the third party developers is using the, the uh, standard uh, sim connect features or not so give it a try if it doesn't work on your favorite aircraft drop a comment below and i will try and see if i can fix it or import your favorite aircraft in fsi panel 2020 in another way all right for this tutorial we will try two aircraft i just got the uh, just flight pa28 arrow we will give it a try and we will try as well to import the Spitfire. So these two aircraft will be in this tutorial. So let's start with the uh, PA-28. So I will just select the PA-28 and any airport as always. And I will start the sim and I see you in a couple of seconds when the sim is ready to fly. See you soon. All right, we are back in the simulator. My aircraft is ready to fly. We are at the threshold of runway 04. So let's click ready to fly and let's see what we can do. All right, so to import an aircraft, a third party aircraft in FSI panel, the first thing you have to do, of course, is to make sure that you have all your avionics that you want to use on. In that case here, I will just fly it VFR and I see that the only thing I could turn on is maybe my DME if required and we will go in FSI panel and normally in FSI panel what we should see is that now the aircraft is not detected it is not a compatible aircraft so automatically you have a pop-out which is custom aircraft mode so the first part FSI panel is taking these informations from uh, SimConnect from the aircraft itself so you can see that the PA-28 has one engine of course it's a piston aircraft there is three notches of flaps and there is an autopilot, it's been detected. Okay, now we have to set that second part and bear with me on that part because this is very important. Clean speed, this is the speed you want FSI panel to position your aircraft with flaps up, gear up. So basically this is what you will use when you're on downwind, when you fly, you fly from a star, or if you're coming on a long final, this will be the clean speed. So on this aircraft, I believe that uh, 100 knot is not bad. Now we come to vector flaps. Okay, now we are talking about which flap setting you want to have set when you're coming on vectors. So on a, maybe a more complex aircraft, a faster aircraft, maybe I will select some flaps here. But here I will say that flaps zero, so I mean up, flaps up is fine. And my vector speed, if I come at 110 knots, that should be fine. Now we have the funnel flaps. This is for landing if you want to, to do a four miles final landing. So I can select my flaps. You see that button I want to show you what it is for. This is a check sim. So what I can do here, I go to my simulator. I set whatever flaps I want. So if I said, OK, this is what I want for my landing. I want flaps 40, full flaps. So I just set it here and now I go to FSI panel and I click on check sim and you see that FSI panel has set the flaps to three which is the maximum which is what you want and now you can just choose your funnel speed so let's say now i want to be at 75 knots and now we are ready to import we have here the name which is automatically detected if you're not happy about that with this name you can change it as you want now autopilot detected yes if you want fsi panel to try setting your autopilot leave it on yes and if you want to take control on the pitch, like on a normal aircraft, like piston aircraft in MSFS 2020, you can just click here, double click, uh, sorry, click on the yes to make it a no and no FSI panel will not take care of your autopilot. So we'll do that on the second aircraft, the Spitfire. For now, I will try to leave it on yes and see what happens. So I click now on import and I get a message aircraft imported successfully. So as you can see now here on the bottom left, I see my detected compatible aircraft is the PA-28 Arrow and I'm ready to go. So we are in Geneva runway 04. Let's try 
a short uh, let's try uh, vectors to start with so now if we're on vectors we should be with flaps up and the speed around 110 so remember that we have to set the power by yourself there is no auto throttle on those aircraft so let's go for it click move aircraft and see what happened in the simulator so i'm back in the sim you see the flaps have retracted i had a bit of power <clears throat> And as you can see, we are ready to take control, so I can hit the brake three seconds, and I have the control. And I'm now on the intercept heading for runway 04 in Geneva. You can see on my HSI that my frequency has been set for my IRS approach, 110.9, and we are on the heading, intercept heading for the IRS approach. So this is if we want to do vectors and we are about 110 knots. Let's go back to FSI panel and try this time a short final. So we're expecting now the flaps to be set to full flaps, the gear to be down, and we should be on a four miles final. So let's give it a try, move aircraft. Don't forget about your trust. Now the gear is moving down. This is the warning we have. And I get the message, I'm ready to take over control, so I can hold my brake, one, two, and three seconds. I have control, and as you can see, I'm on the final. I can fly my approach now in Geneva. So this is the way we do approaches with uh, custom aircraft. Here we've been using the autopilot, and we don't have to use the autopilot mode, so I will show you now how to change that. So if I go back to FSI panel, I can right click on the PA28 and I go back to the setting and I can simply say autopilot no and let's say my final speed I wanted to have it at 80 knots now and I click on update now the aircraft has been updated and if I select short final move aircraft we will be set now and as you can see my autopilot is not set so I'm responsible of my pitch so I use my joystick to, uh, to have the pitch that I want and when I'm ready now you can see I'm in a position freeze, so I can just adjust my speed, my flaps if desired, my and when I'm ready, I hold my brake, one, two, three seconds, and I have control, I can fly my approach. So I guess for a general aviation aircraft, it's better to use FSI panel without the autopilot and just use your joystick to trim the aircraft, to pitch the aircraft, trim it properly, and when you're ready, take over control and do your approach. All right, I see you in a couple of seconds for the Spitfire. All right, back at the threshold with the beautiful Spitfire. All right, let's click ready to fly. And I'm on my runway here, nothing to do. I will go straight to FSI panel and see if we are in a custom mode aircraft. So yes, automatically the mode pop out. Again, one engine, piston aircraft, Autopilot this time, we don't want to use autopilot on the Spitfire. The clean speed is very fast, so let's put 120. Vector flaps on this aircraft, there is only flaps up or flaps down for landing, so vector flaps will be flaps up. Vector speed, I could go 110, I, I guess. This is up to you guys what you want to put. And on final, please give me flaps 1, which is basically landing flap. And I want my speed to be around 90 knots because I will probably fly a four miles final. So now we have what we want. We can change those figures later on, as you saw before. And I'm happy with the name here. So I click import aircraft and we are ready to go. So normally now we can see the Spitfire has been detected. And we can try now on runway 22. We can try a left hand vectors, for example. And we click move aircraft and see what happened in the aircraft. Here we go. As you can see, I'm on intercept heading. You can see the runway 30 degrees to my left. And I'm ready. I have control on the pitch, as you can see. But my altitude is frozen. So I just have to pitch, trim the aircraft properly. And now I hold my brake three seconds. One, two, and three. And I have the control. I can fly my airplane. Let's try a short final now. I go back to FSI panel. Short final move aircraft and as you can see we are already on short final i just have again the gear is down i just have to trim the aircraft hold the brake three seconds and that's it i have control and i can go for my landing 
All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is how to use FSI panel in custom mode aircraft. As a reminder, as a reminder, sorry, I cannot guarantee that it will work with all your third-party aircraft. Give it a try. Let me know if some aircraft are not working with a short description why it's not working, and then I will try my best to find a way to import it. Remember, without autopilot, it's much easier because you have control on the pitch, and when you're ready, you take over your control and you fly your approach. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, stay safe and safe landing. See you soon for another video.